The most wonderful time of the year for student athletes across North Alabama and the Tennessee Valley National signing a day. Welcome in North Alabama and the Tennessee Valley. Thanks so much for joining us. It's the dream of our athletes within the community signing on the dotted line to continue respective playing careers. Let's just continue our signing day coverage as we start at home in the home of the Crimson Panthers. Huntsville High with six players signing respective scholarships today. Malik Woods heads to Miles College. Billy Roby heads to Alabama as a preferred walk-on. Rendarius Hardy heads to one of the best JUCO programs in the country in Independence College. Jarrell Goodlow heads to an elite JUCO program as well in Coahoma. Seth Lawson heads to West Alabama and Alex Gray heads to West Point to play for the Black Knights of Army. That school means a lot to me. It can be a stepping stool for my career to get me better, get me to a higher school, a power five, D1, D2, any, any right I need to take to make it to the league. That's, that's what that's what this is all about. Coahoma actually contacted me like not too long ago. And I went on a visit and it just felt like home, you know. Can't really say that it was a lifelong dream because it kind of hit me as a sophomore just uh, thinking about what I wanted to do afterward. And uh, I had other offers. I had an offer to play for Kentucky and Alabama, but really uh, Army was, at the end of the day, it'd make me a better man. The Panthers cross town rivals Grissom with two players signing on the dotted line this afternoon. KD Long picked UVA Wise in Virginia to continue his career. Tristan Graham will stay close to home and head to Alabama A&M. Some program starting with Coach English and Coach Reeves, they really instilled that you got to get bigger, faster, stronger to play at the next level, and that was my focus. And then starting coming in with Coach Dutton, he he put that the mentality of becoming a leader and helping my teammates to become better and just just help me get to the next level. I know my face may not show it, but on the inside, I'm very excited for this opportunity. Coach Dutton taught me a lot about just life in general. You know, every day won't be a good day. Some days will be. You just got to keep going. At James Clemens, the Jets' Jamal Mayers will take his talents to the Ohio Valley Conference and play for the Skyhawks of UT Martin. The coaches and the, it's just like the environment. It's just like, just so awesome. Like, like everybody there is like a family for real. Like, it's a really fun place to be in. It's like a, a town like all about football. Like, it's awesome. Bob Jones High School with six Patriots signing scholarships. Maddox Sunderman heads to Jacksonville State. Christian Kemp heads to the University of St. Thomas. Caden Jones to Point University. Caden Smith to Sterling University. Dylan Stewart to Hendricks College and Gunnar Dixon to Huntington College. A big day for Athens High School. Isaiah Unger and Cameron Gaywood signed with Elmhurst College for wrestling and Tuskegee for football. You know, they just had a really strong program, at least from what I saw, and, you know, from the wrestling community, especially with how they, you know, kind of transitioned to that, because, you know, they're kind of a teaching school, so I kind of liked being in that, you know, the atmosphere and being with those guys. I like. I'm excited to play with my new my new players, my teammates. Um, just going down there just, just to be friends with them, and not, like, mostly teammates, but friends for sure, yeah. And to the shows, the Trojans of Muscle Shows with eight players signing letters of intent to play football. Tyler Cole headed to play at Maryville College. Wes Thompson heads to the OVC in Tennessee Tech. Zion McCoy will head to Central Georgia. Jaheen Ingram heads to UNA over in Florence. Isaac Rue will head to Middle Tennessee State. And three players will join the Faulkner program in Montgomery and Devin Townsend, Aaron Morrow, and Zaylin Fuqua. A proud day for the Trojans and their head coach, Scott Baisden. These guys played a lot of football. They've been uh, been with me a long time. You know, my uh, two twins were in this grade, so I've watched them grow up since kindergarten. And to see, you know, their hard work come to fruition today is uh, really special. Margo, we sit it to you. It's wonderful to see all those happy parents and students, of course. Well, tonight.